What's going on everyone and welcome to Poppy TV. I'm your host Poppy and welcome to another episode where you see Japan through my eyes. So guys, yesterday it was raining cats and dogs. One fine day with a wolf and a purr, a baby was born and it caused a little stir. No blue buzzard, no three-eyed frog, just a feline canine little cat dog. It was raining so bad, it was so bad yesterday. But today it's not too bad. It's still humid, really, really humid. It's a little bit overcast, but it's it's way better than today. So today, you know how I like to eat. You know how I like food. So guess what? That's right. We're doing another food review. Another one. However, this time we're gonna do a superfood that's really, really popular in Japan. So in my hands here, we have two cloves of seemingly old or rotten garlic, right? Looks like regular white garlic, but it isn't. What I have in my hand is black garlic. Black garlic. So black garlic is a superfood because of the vast nutrients and um, health benefits that it has. So black garlic isn't really anything special like you know found out in the wild or, or some kind of rare um, garlic. All it is is white garlic that's gone through a chemical reaction called the Maillard's reaction. What? And pretty much you take white garlic and you um, put it in some type of container or heat heater or something like that. And I think you I think the temperature range is like a, you put it in a low heat and the temperature range is 140 to 170 degrees Fahrenheit in addition to putting it in a high humidity. So I think the, hum the humidity you wanted to put it in is I think 70 to 90% humidity. And then you pretty much bake it and the chemical reaction takes place where it turns from, you know, regular white clove, cloves of garlic to this kind of like softer, um, blackish um, or brownish no! consistency. Um, I'm gonna put a link in the, in the description where you can find out to make, where you can, uh, you know, find a website to uh, make the black garlic yourself. So, black garlic, before I go into and dig into this, um, I'm gonna explain a little bit of the health benefits of black garlic. So black garlic is a superfood because it reduces high blood sugar, it lowers cholesterol, it fights some forms of cancer, including colon cancer, which is a big one. Um, it reduces inflammation, it reduces Alzheimer's, increases immunity because of the antioxidant content in it, and it's good for your liver. In addition to having huge amounts of trace elements of manganese, manganese magnesium, B vitamins, um, vitamin C, the, it's it's endless so it's it's really great also it's a good it's a decent decent form of fiber not great I think three grams but it's decent right in every 100 milligrams that's around three grams of fiber so it's all around really great snack I tried it before it was really good but I'm gonna try it again on camera just to show you guys so I'm gonna take one of these cloves here and I'm gonna open it up and show you let me open it up, bring it towards the camera so you guys can see. Wow. You can see the black, the black clothes in there. Ooh, I think I peeled one off. I think I peeled the skin off. Ooh, it's all mushy. Ah, wow. This is really, this one is really like soft. I should have bought, I should have took a tissue with me. So I didn't get to keep the um, the clove intact. So I took it out. And as you can see here, it looks like, it looks really wet. It looks like licorice. It looks like a piece of meat. And it actually smells really meaty, right? It smells, I don't know. I haven't had Worcestershire, oh, I can't pronounce it. Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce. Whatever you want to pronounce it, I can't remember. Do you speak English? No, I don't, sorry. Uh, but it, it kind of smells like, it has like a really smoky, but yet sweet smell with, with really heavy um, umami behind it. It's a really unique smell, it smells really good, right? 
so with that being said i want to try it out itadakimasu Okay, so when it first hits your mouth, first hits your palate, it has a really tangy, tangy taste. If you guys are familiar with uh, the fruit called tamarind, it's, it's almost like that, but it's not as sweet. But yet it still has a very natural sweetness to it. So I'm really tangy, it's soft, it, it pretty much melts in your mouth. It goes down really good. It still has that kind of, uh, aftertaste that garlic has whenever you eat garlic it has that aftertaste it does have that garlicky feel in your mouth after you eat like you know some garlic rice or garlic chicken or whatever but it's it's really good it doesn't taste bad or bitter at all it's really really good so that's black garlic really really good for you really really healthy food that doesn't taste bad it's like a snack you can just if you wanted to you can just pick it apart and eat it you know Eat it like you know a clove twice a day, like you know once for breakfast and once in the um, after dinner, and you get all these benefits, right? Especially as you get older, you know you're not as young as you used to, and you want to get some extra nutrients in. You want something that can you know help boost your immunity, reduce inflammation, reduce your chances of getting Alzheimer's, reduce your blood sugar. This is a great way to go. Really great way to go. So guys, that's all I have for today. Remember to stay blessed and stay tuned. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace.